frequency, uh, it's the same frequency it was set at with the 555 timer between 1000 and 1500 kilohertz. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, we, we, we doubled the, the uh, transistor magnetic inductor input. We amplified it twice. So now it's much more powerful on a 9 volt battery running the entire system. And we disconnected the microphone so we could get a clear depiction of magnetic field. Um, and now it is mixing. It seems to be mixing pr more properly. It's picking up uh, certain frequencies and it sounds like about maybe 60 hertz. Um, it's, well, it's splitting multiple sound frequencies right now, and you can hear it echo. Uh, it's detecting my voice at a distance. I don't know what this video is going to pick up, or what it's going to sound like, but it's definitely, uh, echoing right now in the magnetic field. So that is absolute proof that psychicness is real. Uh, this room usually doesn't echo that much, and I also have the window open. So it, you can hear the vibration. It's such a weak, ghosty sound. When magnetic field oscillates in a human's ears, it typically sounds like a ghost. And uh, people can communicate just as well as I'm speaking with the same amount of electricity with their mind that travels the magnetic field uh, around Earth and can be heard by the human ear or the hearing circuits or even your brain. So, like, that's what's echoing right now. And I can prove this by showing you that, that it's, it's in motion. You can hear it waving. It's waving the magnetic field. It's over there on that chair. And there's an amp under the table. A car just drove by. can hear the wave of the sound that's coming out of the amplifier. It's a higher, higher frequency and several lower frequencies. It's some kind of interference, but it also puts out a very light echo of my voice. You can hear it. I don't know if it'll echo for me or not on this camera. 